Hello everybody, welcome back to our second session of cooking together from our kitchen to yours. Today I have a very simple recipe for you which I think you would like to make for your family. It's made in the oven and it's called wild salmon loaf. I hope you had liked the other recipe I sent you last week and it worked for your family. Give me, you haven't sent me any feedback yet. Hopefully I will get some of your feedbacks to see how you liked it, how easy you found it, and if you are gonna be making it again. So we are gonna start with the ingredients that I'm gonna use in this recipe. We are gonna be using two cans of salmon, one third of a cup celery, diced or minced, half an onion chopped, one egg, one cup of oat or one cup of breadcrumbs. I had some oat, it could be quick oat or it could be big flakes that you can put it in your food processor and make it smaller or as I said, you can use breadcrumbs also. I'm gonna be using half of this pepper, red pepper, a bit of parsley and some mayonnaise and for spicing it uh, some dill could be nice if you have i'm using dry dill some salt and some black pepper preheat your oven at 350 10 minutes or 15 minutes before you put your pan in I'm gonna drain the liquid, the water that the sam it's in the salmon can. You just hold it like this and throw away all the water. Put it in a bowl. And the second one, this one has bones in it, which is okay. These bones are eatable. And if you press them, they're gonna be crushed so don't worry about taking the bones out the bones have a lot of nutrients also you have to make sure that when you buy salmon in can first of all buy, buy wild salmon and uh, it could be sockeye or pink salmon but look for this sign which is very important what does it say it says that it's sustainably fished so that means the companies that they are fishing this fish, they're making sure that not too many fish has been taken out of our oceans and fish can continue their population. So make sure that you see this sign when you buy cans. Salmon in cans have the same nutrients as fresh salmon. It's more affordable. So you can use a lot of wild salmon in can. So two cans of salmon I have. I'm gonna add one third of a cup minced celery to it. My onion, which is like half a big onion. Then I'm gonna add the oat. It's such a simple recipe, it's just putting everything together. I'm gonna chop half of this uh, pepper. I don't need all of it, so. You can dice it small because we prefer to have everything is small. And if you don't have red pepper, you can put green pepper. But red pepper has more vitamins than green pepper and it's a little bit more expensive but it's worth to pay a little bit more but at least you get more nutrients so red pepper goes in my knife is becoming dull i should sharpen it soon then you have some parsley that could be nice to have in Some 
salmon in can is as good as fresh salmon. Um, try not to buy ever farmed fish. Farmed fish have, sometimes they have lots of diseases and they are not healthy for you. They might have some, I mean, they have good nutrients, but they can have diseases too, which is toxins. I would avoid buying farmed fish. Salmon has lots of omega-3 protein, vitamin A, vitamin D. It's a good source of protein, healthy protein. And then here, I'm gonna add my like half a teaspoon of, or one teaspoon of dill. Dill is a nice herb to go with fish. A bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and one egg. Here you can add any other spice that you might like. such as cumin or paprika. And I have to add half a cup of mayo to this mixture. Mayo and the breadcrumbs are gonna, or oat is gonna make it bind together. cup of mayo and that's it now I mix them really well so everything mixes together and makes like a creamy mixture with the mayo Here is our mixture. As you see, I have broken while I'm doing this, I'm breaking the salmon too. So you can see that this is ready to be gone to a loaf. Now you get a loaf pan. I have a glass one, but you can use any kind of loaf pan. If you don't have a loaf pan, any other pan, such as this one works too, it's shorter and it will cook faster. So just be careful when you are cooking it. If it's loaf pan, it takes longer than this one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grease it a little bit with a bit of oil. All around it and I usually <clears throat> Sorry, I cut a piece of uh, parchment paper and I put it here. This helps me to bring it out when it's ready easier. I just take it out with this parchment paper. And then you're gonna put all this mixture, beautiful mixture, creamy and lots of good veggies in it inside here I'm gonna take everything out and just spread it around kind of make it press it so it becomes compact so when it's baked and you bring it out, you can cut it easier and it looks
looks, it keeps the shape. So press it while you are trying to flatten the top and make everything to be the same height everywhere. So it cooks equally and it looks good when it comes out of the oven. That's it, done. It goes in the oven at 350 for 40 minutes. In the middle rack at 350. Now I am gonna make a sauce similar to tzatziki sauce, which is called, called creamy yogurt sauce for the fish. So when the fish comes out, we can pour it on top and eat it with this sauce. Very easy sauce. You just need half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of yogurt, if you don't have sour cream, you can do it whole with just yogurt. I'm gonna put one clove of garlic mince, really small. A bit of cumin. Cumin gives it a lot of flavor. A bit of salt. And a bit of black pepper. And what I like about this sauce is that just with a few leaves of mint or uh, possibly coriander or dill, it makes it so much more flavorful. So if you have any herb, if you don't have it fresh, you can put dry, it works really well too. Mix it. This will be your sauce for the fish. For any fish, this sauce is nice. Our loaf is ready. After 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes would be enough. We're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes at least before slicing it because as it cools off, it's gonna shrink and it will be easier to bring it out. The loaf, loaf has cooled down. I'm gonna loosen it with a butter knife from the sides so it comes out easier. Just push it in a little bit. Loosens up and then you can lift it and you put it on a chopping board. Nice and firm. As you see, it keeps its shape. Gonna serve the loaf with some salad. You can use any salad, would be nice. And if you want it more substantial, you can also put some baked potatoes or some roasted vegetables. Happy cooking. I would love to hear from you soon about this dish.